just realised. I think the first bit got cut out, but oh well. Hello, just in case it did. Um, another review for you. Um, I'm going to be doing it on the Zenkethi Battle Cruiser. I'm not going to be saying what it actually is because I will probably pronounce it wrong and make myself look like a fool. Like a fool, damn it. Anyway. Um, so, as you see, I actually haven't done anything with this. It's actually just been sitting in my in my um, shipyard just doing absolutely now um, so I thought let's give it a quick go apparently I do <laughs> apparently I do quite a lot of Starfleet ships and I tend to agree um, however you know it's Star Trek so I thought I'd do another little alien one um, instance than Kathy. Um, if you're having an iron about this ship and you really want to know what it's like, what it can do, I suggest you carry on watching. Okay, so it's a battle cruiser. Hence the name. It is not the quickest thing on the planet. Not got a bad turn rate. It's got quite a nice little turn rate. Um, looks wise, it's quite a nice little ship actually. I have actually got a certain, and to rub the salt in the wound on the Zen Kathy. I've got the Lucari Reputation Shield visuals on, which give it this nice little look. Uh, but it's quite a bulky ship. For alien vessels, it isn't actually a bad one. It's pretty basic, but it's it's pretty nice that way. But you have all these nice little moving components, and that's always a nice one. We like things that move. Um, so yes, yeah, so it does move pretty nicely, actually. It's not very slow. It's not heavy. It doesn't feel heavy to fly. It's small ship um, but it's not a big it's not a, it's not a big bulky thing if I get close to the Kelvin uh, Intel dreadnought you'll actually see a rough size comparison of it so ah oh, ah oh, he knew he knew I was coming for him it's coming for him. oh well, never mind um, customization wise it isn't e but I will show you that anyway, just because I always do, so why not? Uh, and then we'll take it out to a combat zone of some place, wherever that be. Deep Space Encounter, PvE, but I think Deep Space Encounter is going to be the more likely. So I have not used this ship at all, other than looking at the customizations um, when I first got it, because I was a little bit like, well, I want it. I also want to know what the customizations are like. So, let's go and find that out. Um, let's take it down there, and we'll just have a quick little look. But, like I said, there's not really anything. There's never really anything on alien ships that you can actually change. Um, material, Zenkethi 1, but I have got uh, a modifier on there. A uh, visual modifier on there. So, that is all of your customizations. St. Kathy Bridge. It's always a pretty nice one. Um, but that is it. This probably has to be one of the ships that has the least customizations on it I have ever seen, if not the least out of the whole game. I mean, you just... Absolutely now. You can't change over to a, a Federation Bridge. You can't change material. The only thing you can do... Chuck a pat on there. So, with that in mind, I think it probably wasn't a well looked at ship in the way of when they were designing it in, is could there be little bits like, you know, how about some tail fins, you know, little, little smaller bits that people can change and just have a little bit of interest in. Um, but I think it has been let down a little bit unfortunately but hey we'll let them off because they are about to bring out the uh, the new lock boxes soon uh, which will have the discovery or well, the Vanguard class but the USS discovery and the USS Shenzhou and it's a light cruiser thing I'm a jiggy I forget the day but it looks like the Miranda um, a little bit more like the centaur actually um, okay so let's have a look at the masteries there actually I'll tell you what I'm gonna do I'm going to stop myself from flying to the edge of the map because that irritates me. Okay, it's all this whole plating, giving the plus 25 uh, uh, kinetic and physical damage resistance. Not bad. Oh, if I actually click the right one. 
um, enhanced weapon banks plus 15% critical severity, which is going to be very good, which means later on I can actually take off certain consoles I have on there that will give a critical severity uh, buff, um, because I will probably be able to get where I need to without them. Um, enhanced hull plating, which gives the plus 25 energy damage resistance and radiation damage resistance, which is pretty nice. Uh, the armoured hull, which gives a plus 10% hull hit point increase. The next <laughs> turtle. The next one is obviously your master at your level tier 5 mastery, which will give you the trait. Uh, turtle! Um, I actually wasn't expecting that. Um, but okay, so conserve your energy, move slowly in order to gain additional shield capacity, shield hardness, and turn rate. These bonuses ramp up, to, uh, ramp up the longer you remain at or below 25% throttle increasing every two seconds while at while at or below 25 throttle up to 10 stacks plus six percent flight turn rate plus three percent maximum shield capacity and plus three percent shield hardness all stacks lost if the throttle goes above 25 percent which is your first bar so it's okay it's okay it's not bad but it's not good because the slower your speed is getting the easier it is for an enemy to hit you, so the lower your defense rating is going to be. It does have the extra shield hardness and shield capacity, but I'm not sure it's going to compensate, really. But that's my opinion. It might do, it might not do, but that's what I think. I personally wouldn't be using it. Um, Stats-wise, you can see here, actually, continue. why is everyone crowding around me? You all love me. Yay, I have friends. I, I don't know. Um, looking at stats here, I haven't really done too much with the stats, to be honest. Um, I literally just chucked bits on it just a second ago, um, because I'm not going to be using it all the time, so, it, to be honest, it really doesn't matter that much to me. Um, but we'll see what it's like out and about. Uh, okay, let's have a quick walk to sector. Let's see if we can find a deep space encounterer. Um, it's not a bad design ship. It looks it looks okay. Um, it looks like a bus. It's the bus ship. It's a bus ship. It is. It just looks like a bus. Um, wow, I say a bus. It's like a tilt your head. It's like a teardrop. Uh, let's see if I can find. I don't trust that one over there. So let's go to that one. Okay, whilst we do that, as you see, loadout-wise, I have anti-proton going through all of these. Uh, most of them have the penetration on them because I like to go straight through the shields and it's more fun. Hello! It is nice to meet you again. Um, yeah, I just, I, I saw the watch and I thought, well, I'll check that because I did that yesterday and ignored people. Um, yeah, so... All your anti-protons there, kind of uh, omnidirectional. I'm not a kinetic cutting beam on this because uh, it's not as good as it used to be. Um, this is your fleet uh, shield, your fleet deflector. I've got the Aegis Hyper Impulse because I thought that's helped because they're actually pretty quick during battle. Uh, not the quickest through sector space, but through battle it's pretty good. Um, I've actually got the console that comes with it, which gives this rating here, as you can see there. Uh, I've got the armor, the reinforced armaments, bounty, bounty hunter's friend. I've got the weapon sensor enhancer. I've got the bio neural infusion circuits, zero point energy conduits, tachyonic converter, uh, temporal distendlement suite, and then the fleet tactical consoles for anti-proton damage, giving me that critical chance as well. And it's done this again. I hate I hate this game. Right, let's turn around, let's go back. This game with these deep space encounters are the bane of my existence. Let's open up a slipstream. Let's see if we can get there a mighty bit quicker. And if this one disappears when I get there, I'm just gonna rage quit completely. Yeah. You better not cut out. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, hello. I see you there. He's probably got the sub simulated engines on. I would be going a lot quicker if I had those puppies on. But I thought, let's give it a go with the Aegis, because I know they're a lot quicker when you're actually in, in your combat and everything like that, so I thought I'd give that a go. Okay, and so we begin. Cube! It's dead. So many people here, I kind of doubt we're going to be able to see anything. Okay, so with regards to the weapons that I have on, obviously they are anti protons, so they have that beneficial critical chance there, but with the shield penetration, obviously it's going to go straight through the shields. So all the critical chances you're going to be hitting are actually going to be pure hull on all of them. It's going to have a lot of it being pure hull, so it's going to fly past all the other shields. And especially with all the traits and abilities I have on this puppy. Um, so yeah, level 30, so it's not going to really any difficult. But it will give you a rough sort of look, which is kind of rough. So it's actually quite easy to you know, fly about. Like I said earlier, uh, said earlier right? it doesn't feel bulky. It doesn't feel heavy to, to, to fly around. Um, you know, it is actually pretty pretty decent. The turn rate's pretty nice. Um, am I hitting it? I don't know. I won't be so far away. Okay, let's just... Fly on out of here, let's try again. Got a bit of a cube going on. Wow, that hole just disappeared. So, yeah, it's actually doing pretty nicely. It's actually not doing badly at all. Let's fly over into the horde. Too bad. Uh, uh, drift going on there. Oh, look! Hey, snap! Ah, uh, you don't have the uh, that skin. So yeah, actually, I'm actually pretty okay with actually. Oh, hello. Ah, uh, you know what? I haven't been in one of these rooms. So, yeah, not doing too badly. Time to cube! It's going to be a little bit more That's good. That's all good. Yeah, this not actually doing too badly. I don't mind it. I, I changed my mind. And next wave. I do like being viral. I actually didn't like being viral when I first started this game. I thought it was pretty shy, but I'm actually quite liking it. Ah, there goes my hole. And I'm... How embarrassing! Killed on a level 30. That's embarrassing. It's weak! Ah! Uh, the great shields! Ah! Uh, now my message has to pop up. Why? I've been on this for ages. Why has the message just popped up? Trash. I feel like I am going super duper slow all of a sudden. Right, refresh rate. Ah, oh, look at me get absolutely zapped. Look at that. 
Goodbye! Nice knowing you all. Super tractored. Killed by Core Breach. Super embarrassing. It's like they literally all just wanted me dead. They were just like, you see that guy right in the middle? Get him. But you know what? I respawn! So evidently we have also found out that this thing is not good being tracked to me. Uh, really not good at being hit with a tractor beam at all. It was embarrassing, but also kind of just like funny that I suck. Okay, so, uh, okay, fair this thing. Okay. Um, I think it, it is pretty good and I did quite enjoy it up until the arse whooping. Um, but, yeah, no, I, I wouldn't put it past it, actually. I would actually say if you are looking at getting sort of perhaps a battlecruiser, which isn't a Federation battlecruiser, I would actually seriously consider this, actually. It's not bad. Um, obviously, you can do things to change, like the being to you know, the control expertise, etc., etc., but I'm not really down for that. I, I've, I pump out more DPS because of my traits um, when I'm in my escorts, which... Track to being an escort isn't really something that normally happens too easily. <laughs> Let's go and do for some. Oh, the lag, she be real. I like the little flame that spoots at the back as well, it's kind of flamey. Um, but all in all, it's actually a pretty sturdy, pretty nice little ship, actually. Um, I did think when I was actually going to start the video, mm, should I do it on this? I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to like it. I, yeah, I actually don't mind it, actually. Um, if I ever want to play as a, in an alien ship, uh, in a battle cruiser, then I will p I will pick it to, to, to play with, especially when the mastery upgrades, because let's have a look at the mastery. Oh, it's a slow grower. We have a slow grower. That is going to take some time. Usually, you can get these, on a lot of these, you can actually get at least a tier one done in one of those things, um, even without that massive amount appearing. Um... But no, it's it's pretty nice. Um, that would be yeah, okay. That came with this. Didn't I didn't put that on there? That came with this. Um, but looks wise, yeah, it's it's pretty nice. Um, it's pretty sleek, slim. Um, handling wise, it's not it's not a heavy like a, like a, a lot of ships feel like they are. Um, whether that just be way we view it then fine but it's you know it's, it's free flowing it's it's nice um it doesn't usually obviously it would have actually held together if all of those cubes weren't all firing at me that would have been uh you know you would have seen a little bit and i was so confident as well oh it's a level 30 um but yeah <laughs> they did decide to have their way with me and i was literally rammed evidently um but yeah, no, I would seriously, if you're looking for a nice sort of engineering class ship, which is, you know, nice and bulky, isn't too slow feeling, yeah, give it a good go. I mean, they're, you know, they're not expensive on the exchange. Um, I would certainly give it a go. Um, if you ever are looking for one of these ships, uh, if you want to find, uh, if you want to find it for a little bit cheaper than what prices are on the exchange, depending on the price as well, um, you can certainly, oh hello, um, you can certainly pop over, if you're on Facebook, pop over to the STO, colon, Xbox One, hyphen, private exchange. Um, we have a lot of, yes, hello, hello, you can be in the stream too, hey, how's it doing? How you doing, Hades? I think your balance looks pretty nice, but I don't mind. Anyway, yeah, you can pop over to the page because, uh, you can find some real good deals over there. Um... And you may be able to snag yourself a nice little ship. Um, but as far as that goes, um, I think that is going to be it for this little review on there. It's pretty nice. Ah, oh, hello. Ah, oh, hello. <laughs> oh. Thanks. 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 You got some 
some nice patterns. It's a nice pattern. Uh, but yeah, I think that's going to be it for this little review. Um, yeah, this like it's like mama and baby. It's mama and baby. Um, so I hope I helped made up any minds on there. Obviously, if you are on YouTube, you can pause it and read whatever I highlighted. And you can view it all then. Um, if you do enjoy it, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel because it does help me out quite a bit. It makes me feel good. Um, but as far as that goes, that is absolutely it now. And I will see you guys later. Bye.